welcome back to the channel guys. So I've come out on this beautifully cold October day in the UK because I want to show you something different. Check this out. So this is what's known as a WOW bike. W-A-U, that's how you say it, WOW. That right there. That lights up as well when you turn it on. Turn the lights on, it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, this is basically a 500 watt e-bike. So as you know, usually on the channel I'm featuring balls out of stuff, pedal to the metal, four kilowatts, 14 kilowatts, not 500 watt e-bike. So what's all this about? But this is really interesting because it's an e-bike that's been properly designed for personal transport. So the first thing you notice about this bike is this enclosure which holds the computer and the battery which I'll come to in a sec. But they'd actually do an option for a 55 amp hour battery which can take this thing about 200 miles. I think there is an extra rack for an extra extension on the battery but I really like the battery system that they've got which I'll show you in a second. But this particular model is based around a 500 watt hub which isn't really revolutionary but it's probably the minimum that I would say I'd run on a hub motor. They do a 250 watt road legal version as well without a throttle control but seeing as they were lending me this for a little while just to do a test and see what I thought I said I need the 500 one with the throttle. <laughs> So there's a nice big chain ring at the front, just one gear on that, um, and then you've got eight on the back, so you can pedal up to pretty high speeds with this. It's got these slim 28 inch road wheels, because this is mainly a commuter, and it's got these small Marathon Plus e-bike ready tyres, which is pretty cool. Also, I think these tyres have got 5mm rubber to prevent punctures. So this has got a Suntour front fork, I'm not really overly fond of Suntour stuff, but this is actually their e-bike fork, E25. Now, as you know from some of the other stuff I've shown on this channel, a lot of these manufacturers are now making kind of e-bike specific parts that they're supposed to be a little bit stronger I think. Now these strips down here are actually rear tail lights, brake lights and indicators which is quite a nice touch. They look better at night. There's also a little battery powered light on the front which charges from the um, from the controller screen. I would have liked to have seen a proper light a bit like the kind of rear lights on the front of this but you know this will work. The display is pretty cool it's very similar to what we have on the Kirby bike kits um, with your little um, switches for kind of your pedal assist up and down lights on and off turn the bike actually on and off on there as well uh, it shows your speed obviously your trip um, and range as well I think on that and you've got a battery gauge up the top so everything you need to know about what's going on the bike is on there controls for the indicators there also comes with this key fob and this key that sets the alarm so you've got an alarm on there as well better turn that off and this key opens the battery box and then you've got your battery in there this is something different that I hadn't seen before this just slides out I won't do it now because I'm out but um, and then you've got the connector for it which plugs into the rest of the bike and then you've got a charging socket there so to charge it you can just open this flat, take this battery out or you can just leave the battery in the bike and charge it. So yeah it's pretty cool guys. I think if you were going to make an e-bike you'd strive to kind of make it as neat as this. Well I would. This is the kind of kind of attention to detail that I would put into something. You've seen my bikes and you see how, how neat I try to make them but you can never make it as neat as something that's been designed properly with you know all this special specially made housings and all this sort of stuff. You know the fact that it's got this waterproof enclosure, the fact that all the lights are all built in, it's ready to go. You could just get on this and go and do some errands, doesn't matter if it's dark, doesn't matter if it's raining, you can just use this bike like you would an alternative, like a moped or, or whatever. So enough chatting about it, let's go and see what it can do. All right, here we go then guys. So, little road test. I'm just gonna go to the um, the post office. I've got a little parcel in uh, my backpack. So first stop, run a little errand. Normal use case scenario for something like this. Just kind of um, use this instead of the car. Obviously the amount of stuff I usually have to send at the post office, it's, um, I'm not going to be able to do it on a bike unless I had a trailer behind me. But um, yeah, so it feels nice, feels pretty smooth. You know, this, there's front suspension, obviously no rear suspension. So, you know, you're hard tailing, which is, you know, not a problem. I don't mind that so much. Um, seat is fairly comfortable. Like I think it probably could do with a, a more softer one for commuting. I've got a pretty good Sele Royale one on uh, one of my other bikes. It's really, really nice. But um, yeah, so you can see the display there, doing 19 mile an hour, just pedalling. I uh, don't know what gear I'm in, but you know, it's just cruising along. This is pedal assist one. So up here, we basically go down a little hill and then there's quite a, not massively steep, but it's it's a reasonable climb um, up. So, you know, on a normal bike, you'd be, you'd be feeling it, you know, it's not a sort of an easy one. Um, but yeah, one thing I did say earlier about this front chain ring is that, it is pretty big, so it can give you quite a good top speed. I've been riding a little while before I started this uh, this video clip, 
Right, so I'm having to turn, I turned up to pedal assist four. I think it will go one higher than that because I could feel some resistance. You know, we're going to start to go uphill now, so I could feel a little bit of resistance. So I don't want to, I don't want to work basically at all. This is my, <laughs> this is like my, my kind of thing. I don't want to have to do that at all. She's looking, looking at me like, what the hell? I've got a motorcycle helmet on, on a, on a strange looking bike. Uh, yeah, so I'm breezing up this hill. Voltage has dropped down to about 46, which shows that he's working. And um, there's no power display on here. There is, but it doesn't really move. So I don't know what, what that's all about. But yeah, as you see, we come over the crest, it's starting to, starting to speed up now. So, I mean, this pedal assist level five is, is, pretty, uh, is pretty high. So 26 mile an hour, just my feet are going around. That's it, I'm not even, I'm not pushing. I'm not pushing at all. If I did, oh, there's the resistance there. Like it's, yeah, it's, I mean, it's nice. You could you could do that all day long. There's no no issue with that at all. So 20, it's like cruising at 20, 23, 24 mile an hour, which is probably fast enough really on, on these tires. I think it will go faster. If we push the throttle in, provided I don't get taken off this thing. If we push the throttle in, going downhill slightly. Yeah, it's all right, 27. I can feel it. You're going past the maximum speed of the motor there. So I think you're looking at about 25, 25-ish mile an hour, something like that, which is fine for like a, a commuter cruiser type thing. But my, my pedals are actually going round. That's the good thing. So here we go then. Well, I got to this little bit anyway, so that's all right. So I'm going to drop the old, um, Drop the parcel off, and then I'm going somewhere else. Brakes are alright as well. These are cable brakes, believe it or not, but they say they're upgrading to hydraulic. <whistles> this alarm is super loud, and this has got GPS tracking built in as well, I didn't mention that. So, yeah. <laughs> it's not going to stop someone sticking in a van, but it might help. Right, well I just forgot to stick the stand up and um, I got reminded of that. <laughs> Back wheel went up in here, but it did go down. It did actually fold down automatically, so it didn't kill me, which is good. Right, so I'm going back now, I'm going back to the airport. Um, I'm just gonna go and pop and get, a, get something from over there and get a coffee as well. So I'm uh, full throttle at the moment, pedaling lightly, it's a slight climb. I mean, for a 500 watt motor, this ain't bad. I tell you what, it's not bad at all. Yeah. You know, it's, of course, it's not as much as the 2000 or whatever, but to be honest, that may be pushing it in some cases anyway. Um, around cities and stuff and places like this, I don't really think you need that much more, unless you're a nutcase like me. But, um, you know, for getting from A to B and actually not having to have a huge battery, the battery in this is actually a 17 and a half amp hour. Uh, I, I don't know what is the maximum battery size that they do in this block. I need to have a look uh, in this format, but I think it it must be a bit higher. It must be like 25 maybe, but there is an extra battery you can have in parallel, which would go on the rear, rear of the bike somewhere. You know, that's not gonna make it look as neat as it does now. But I mean, even so, if they can get 25 amp hours or something like that inside this battery case, that's that's getting interesting. So yeah, we're rattling along now, 28 mile an hour, then 29. You know, it's amazing how quick it actually kind of picks up. But we're gonna slow down a bit now, because we're gonna go up this, um, up this hill. This is the difference between, you know, having 500 watts, on 250 watts you'd, I mean, it would struggle. It would, uh, it would struggle to do this with a hub motor, but with 500 watts, it slows down to, you know, like 18 mile an hour going up a hill. But I'm not pedaling, guys. I'm literally not pedaling at all. So it just shows you, uh, you know, what, what you can do. If you have 1500 watts or 2000 watts, you won't drop as much speed because it will pile that power into getting you up that hill. But, um, you know, this is, this is fine. It's fine for what it is. I wouldn't want to go that much quicker on this sort of frame and these tyres anyway. This is kind of like fast road bike, you know, 
what you see the guys in the light with at the weekend that sort of stuff but you're not doing any work <laughs> and that's the thing you can do work if you want to that's the great thing about this sort of setup because it's not it's not got huge amounts of power so um you know you, you don't have you can put some work in yourself anyway so we're rolling across <laughs> riding a bit erratically we're riding across the um main parts coming into Stansted airport and I'm going to go in exactly the way the car's going but of course if you go in in the car you're going to get hit by a massive 10 pound parking charge for just only being there five minutes or something so I always love doing this on the bikes just coming in here because they probably see you coming in the cameras and think what the hell why is he coming in on a push bike I suppose people do it there's a train station here and other things so you know it is kind of worth popping over and these actually the little shops in here are the nearest shops to me funnily enough so anyway we're rolling in 20 mile an hour even though it's a 10 <laughs> but um, there you go so I'm gonna um, get off in a minute and wheel it into the airport because I can Let's get out of here then. What are you doing? Let's go for a little top speed test then, shall we? Oh, I'm pedalling as well. 25, 25 mile an hour. That's the max. That's the max you're gonna get unless you are superhuman I'm lovely and warm though I'll tell you what with these heated gloves it's about 7 degrees today which ain't too bad but definitely need these gloves my hands get so cold right well I was meant to go home but I just like riding this thing around it's just um, the thing about e-bikes in general just any e-bike it don't matter if it's a fast one or a slow one or I mean this isn't slow by any stretch but you know it's not the quickest thing I've ever ridden but I just love e-bikes it doesn't matter what they are just love them so final thoughts then I really like it actually I mean I'm not just saying this because they've lent it to me to you know review and all of that but yeah the more I ride it the more I actually like it it does what it's supposed to do that is the main thing about this would I buy one no I wouldn't because I'd just build one and that's the thing about this if you can't be bothered to build or you just don't know how to or you just really don't want to do that then this sort of thing is something you should look at because a lot has been done and there's been a lot of development in it and it's basically going to save you a lot of hassle because you're going to go and try and sort out lights you're going to go and try and sort out an alarm you're going to come up against all these hurdles not being able to pedal fast enough or things like that and you're going to have to change chain wheels so you know if you're into that and that's your hobby then like me then i think you know it's, it's an awesome thing to do build your own e-bike but if you just want something that's going to serve as a personal transport device and get you from a to b as a real legitimate car replacement you know that's the sort of thing you should be looking at not like something in Halfords that's just really a mountain bike with a, a motor strapped on so that's things to think about anyway guys I hope you've enjoyed this one um, there's going to be coming back to more powerful stuff and all this kind of thing but I thought I'd show you that bike anyway because I think it really represents what's kind of happening in the e-bike world like, and how things have kind of moved forward it's moving quick and now is the time for e-bikes like it is 
it's just it's just brilliant it's a great time i'm loving it but anyway a couple of things i think they need to change the saddle's not comfortable so i think that you know that needs to be changed um for a nice you know something a bit more wider something that's going to do that kind of you know you're going to be able to do range on it that's what you want also the front light you know it's not really that great in really dark conditions it'd be fine in a city or something like that but you know they really need to kind of maybe improve that other than that i think maybe the integration between the gps the alarm and the display because it kind of feels like they're three separate systems because they are basically but if they could kind of integrate them all into one and have like one app that controlled the whole bike so you can monitor the gps you could turn the alarm on and off all that from an app that would be really good maybe even use the um the phone as a display although i'm not that fond of that anyway guys thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like or do all the usual stuff and i'll catch you in the next video